Hey Capricorn, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings, check out the description box below or you can visit my website nomadsoulwarrior.com to uh, place an order. All right, and also I'm running a um, holidays giveaways for um, this month. I'm giving away all this Oracle decks as well as one tarot deck um, for this month. And um, it's going to be an Instagram. You can follow me there. Uh, search Nomad Soul Warrior and then check out the latest posting that says the Oracle for the Week giveaway. And then you can check the description of that post on how to participate. All right. That's my way of saying thank you for all your support, especially for this year. And since it's the season of giving and receiving, why not? Yeah. To all my new viewers, welcome. Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly Love Connections reading. I also have other weeklies and more bonus readings for this month. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that um, subscribe button and click on the um, notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I go live or post new videos. All right, enough with the announcement. Capricorn in love, please. What do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Nine of Cups. The Hermit. The first message I'm getting, Capricorn, for you is that are you happily high in a good way? Yeah. <laughs> it could be that that is your desire for this, for the situation that you're in right now. You want to be high and happy and um, that feeling of almost getting into the fulfillment, the emotional fulfillment that you have been wanting for. Okay. We have temperance. The queen of swords. The ace of coins. Hmm. The Page of Coins, the World, mm. the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. Look at that. You have the Three Queens out, the World, the Hierophant. Wow. And you are no longer feeling restful for this time like i said not in a bad way because it feels like in this situation that you're in there is the sense capricorn that you want to achieve fulfillment and on your side you have been thinking about this for a while and it got you to a point um, of realizing really that especially the recent changes that has happened between you and the person that you're dealing with it feels like um, things are getting better, yeah? Or things have gotten better as opposed to what it was when you had that Ten of Swords energy. It feels like you have had a cycle with this person and it ended not in a good way. So there could have been betrayal, there could have been massive or, or you know, hurt, pain. Um, somebody possibly haven't really gotten over you or that you have gotten over that person as well but in the in the recent past or just in the recent um, weeks it feels like things have gotten better um, the way you interact with one another um, seem to have balanced out yeah so in the past, if there wasn't any communication, now you can see that communication is flowing. And there is that sense of understanding each other or learning to. Mm -hmm. And on your side, although you may not be the action-oriented energy as of the moment, yeah, it feels like you know that in this connection, Capricorn, there is an opportunity here that... 
um, has the potential uh, to be more harmonious, yeah? In your dealing with this person, there is that potential to be more harmonious, to be more loving, and perhaps you are really thinking that, yeah, this connection is something that is worth investing your time, your money, your effort, because it feels like, it feels like, let's just say, it's a good investment in love, however that plays out for you. With regards to your person, um, you could be dealing with an air sign or Taurus Libra, yeah, Sagittarius, but mostly, or Virgo, regardless of the sign, it could be any other sign, but there is that um, strong uh, sense of this person having learned some important lessons uh, in your past cycle together. So upon reaching this Ten of Swords energy, it feels like this person um, learned a lot about you, about being in a relationship with you, dealing with someone like you, or even loving someone like you. And at the same time, this is also, they are also learning more about themselves and what they truly want in a connection. Um, what do they intend to have as well? So there's that sense of clarity bearing on this person uh, based on the lessons that they have learned with you upon reaching this Ten of Swords. So the breakup could have been a good thing because it seems like somebody here has gotten some form of clarity. Yeah, some form of clarity. As well, the person that you're dealing with, I can feel, Capricorn, that you are beginning to be more fond of them. This is someone you're beginning to want, yeah? Even after an ending, this could be you wanting to be with this person, to be more loving, to be more open. Because there is that sense of you feeling more comfortable. And it feels like, however you have played this out, when I say played, I mean um, not in a player kind of energy, but however you have reached this situation right now, um, you know, you may have set up some boundaries and whatever is going on with your life right now, the number of hours you spent on this connection as well as with yourself, because I feel you have been also wanting to have more time for yourself, to do more introspection. And at the same time, you're also spending some time with this person in what level or what capacity that is, you should know better. But there is this sense that the distribution of your energy seems to have been balanced out. You are not too exhausted um, putting a lot of effort into this connection. And at the same time, you also have enough time for yourself. So there is that sense of balancing things out. And for the um, allocated time that you are spending with this person, you are getting more clear about your you wanting them. Or you wanting this person in the past you may not have known this person as much but like I said things may have gone better or things may have improved along the way that now this person the more they are getting clear of their intention of their wanting of their desires or even their ambitions in life the more it is easier for you to see things through and how you fit into this connection, how you fit possibly into this person's life or vice versa, how they fit into your life. Yeah. Um, but I do see that you're dealing with someone who has a very good opportunity that they are holding on now, something related possibly to finances, something related to um, new beginnings. It could be a new job, new business, new launching, or whatever this is. But there is this sense that this person is gearing towards a golden opportunity. And they are pretty much focused on that. Mm -hmm. With regards to you, this is someone who is open in talking to you, in um, spending time with you, but not at the capacity of someone in relationship with you just yet. Although they may be thinking or although you can sense that they may be interested in um, 
pursuing an opportunity for this. It could even be a reconciliation, although you can sense that this person may be wanting to have a new beginning. Um, the communication is very uh, youthful. So the communication about getting back together or, or reconciliation is not very much talked about, at least for now. But the way you deal with one another, the way you talk to one another, now you are on friendly terms, you are on talking terms, you are able to um, sort of move past the betrayal, the hurt, the, the bitterness that you may have had in the past cycle when this breakup has happened or when this ending occurred. Of course, you may have hated one another for, for some time, but it feels like that cycle is totally over. One thing for sure is that even though you can sense that this person is wanting to have a new beginning, this is someone who wouldn't push forward if if they can sense that um, what they want in this relationship is not offered because definitely this person wants reciprocity this person wants something that is sustainable and whatever that has happened in that ending this person has taught him or her a lot of lessons and in as much as they want to have a new beginning with you, they don't want to repeat that cycle because that cycle definitely failed for both of you. Yeah. Although they still want to, there is this sense that in terms of attraction, of wanting to be with you, there is that. This person is still wanting to pursue or even, you know, sort of entertaining the thought of you and them getting back together. But as of the moment, they are not really making a decision just yet primarily because they want this new opportunity with you to have a brand new start, but they are yet to see possibly your effort, more effort from you. They are yet to see that or to hear that sort of conversation, yeah, that you may be wanting to uh, reconcile or something. There needs to be that uh, mature discussion, honest, direct, that um, you guys want to have. But both of you are pretty much kind of waiting here, waiting for this um, opportunity to be launched, yeah, for this new beginning. But someone here would wanna do it the right way if you are supposed to have the second time around or the next time around. It gets better though, um, it gets better though, but this person is waiting for communication from you they are open for the opportunity. They can see that you are pretty much fun to talk to or be with, but they are yet to hear from you your real intentions. Like I said, this could be general. This is a general reading, so this could go either way. You could be that first energy that I was talking about or the second energy. So you pick your side, okay? But that's what I have for you, and I hope this gives you insights. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to join or participate in the giveaways, follow me in Instagram. And that's what I have for you for today, Capricorn.